Hello and welcome to another edition of Bree Online Live. I'm your host, Chad Hembry, and joining me, we have a very special guest, Mr. Chris Shield. Thanks for being on here. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. You have an event coming up, and, and you're actually wearing it on your shirt here. Oh, actually. That's right. Get Healthy Berea. Now tell us all about Get Healthy Berea. Okay, well, sure. Well, this is the third year that we are uh, presenting this program. And really, Get Healthy Berea is all about promoting a healthy community. You know, let's, let's have a healthy lifestyle. Let's have the choices uh, out there for, for us to learn what we need to have a healthy life. Um, everywhere from physical activity to what you eat, um, you know, even to uh, the products you use in your house, green products versus, you know, chemicals. So there's, there's a wide range there of what we're doing. Um, the second phase of that, besides getting healthy, hence the name, is uh, we also raise money during this event for the Patient and Family Assistance Fund at St. Joseph Berea. It has a really important fund. Uh, it pays for medications. It pays for uh, testing supplies. It, it, it pays for any type of medical need that a doctor says a patient needs, but they just don't have the money to pay for it, whether they're underinsured or no insurance. Um, they're, they're, and there's a great need out there. We uh, have seen quite an influx of, of need over the past three, four months, and, um, and we actually are low on our funding this year for it. So it's going to be a, a great thing if people can come out and support us for that and help others in their community at the same time. Well, with today's economy, uh, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm certain that it affects uh, more people now than it has yes. in the past, or in the recent past anyway. Absolutely. Uh, that's a great cause. Yes. Good program. Uh, really enjoy St. Joseph working with Bria now. This is, it's been a great marriage, I'm going to say. It has. It has. A lot of, of great things have happened. And, you know, it's always been a good community hospital, I think. Um, but since St. Joseph came into the picture, it's been five, six years ago now, it has really improved uh, a lot of areas in the hospital. We're able to provide more services. Um, we have so many things there that many folks don't even know we have as far as services are concerned, outpatient services. You know, there's cancer treatment that you can get here at the hospital. You don't have to go to Lexington uh, to get that treatment. So there's a lot of things that, that, that we hope to uh, bring to the community, and I think St. Joe's has done that. And that's why I call it a marriage, because, you mm -hmm. know, two great individuals make a great marriage, right? Absolutely. One's Absolutely. not going to make the other one better, right? <laughs> well, I don't know if my wife will agree. She might think she does all of it. But, yeah. <laughs> and she probably does. But We like to think we can change. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. That's right. Now, we actually had your wife on here last year. Yes, yeah, she, she, she likes to tell me that she always does these things before I do. So she, she, she likes to rub that in. One right? And that's all right. I mean, she does some great work at the college, and I'm very proud of what she does as well. Well, then we're here with the, the food bank. And yeah. we actually okay. went out and covered that yeah. live as well. That was, that was a nice event. But anyway, Get Healthy Berea. I actually mm -hmm. went last year, mm -hmm. but I was a little late. <laughs> and when you say it wraps up, it really wraps up. At 1 o'clock, this thing is pretty much over. It is done. And, and the reason being is a lot of the, the folks that come out to support us uh, are involved in a lot of other activities. You know, the health department is going to be there, but they also have their own thing going on that day. Um, you know, we have, you know, Bree Health Ministry will be out there. We have a vast array of services from the St. Joe Health System are going to be there, whether it's Sleep Center, uh, Diabetes Center, all these folks are going to be there to help um, present not only information, but there's going to be health screenings there as well. And anybody can come to get their blood pressure checked, their sugar checked, and just a vast array of things to, to check out and see how you're doing, see if you're healthy or not. And, uh, you know, we've had a few people in the past that have come and uh, gone to health fairs and have found things that they you know, obviously didn't know that they had, whether it be uh, they, they saw something elevated and they went and got it checked out by a doctor and ended up they had cancer, but they caught it early because of a screening. So it's very important to come out and do that. But it really does wrap up around noon or 1 o'clock. So you want to get there in the morning because that's when everything's happening. So, you know, and we also have this year, I just want to mention this too. This is the first year we're doing a, uh, what's called a passport to a healthy life. And this is a, an initiative um, that is primary, pri primarily funded from the Brea College Appalachian Center. They gave us a, um, gave us a fund, uh, funding to help bring our children from the elementary schools up on campus during this time. And they are going to participate in a competition amongst each other. So we're talking about Brea Community School, Kingston, Shannon Johnson, and Silver Creek. They're going competing for a grand prize of $1,000 and uh, on down to $750, 500 250 So every school will get something. But the grand prize winner gets $1,000 to go to their physical education and health departments. 
That's great. And all they all they have to do is is the the school with the most number of kids and their parents who come out and participate in the events like the run, the walk, the corporate challenge, or go through the health screenings. Uh, they all get stamps for those different activities. And the more you do, the more stamps you get, and the school with the highest number is going to win that grand prize. And so so we're hoping that not only they get that funding, but they learn something too about having a healthy life and fighting childhood obesity. So. Which, of course, is, is an issue. Yes, it's a huge issue. Yeah, a yeah. huge issue. That's kind of like, <laughs> sorry. No, no, no pun intended. Yeah, definitely there. not. <laughs> it's, it's a national issue. What yes. is it with the First Lady is? Yes, absolutely. Right. Yeah, okay. absolutely. The Corporate Challenge Obstacle Course. Tell me a little bit about this because I'm kind of interested. Now, last year, you know, again, this is the third year we're doing Get Healthy Bria, but last year was the first year we did the Corporate Challenge. Now, that, the name is a little bit of a misnomer because you don't have to be part of a corporation, a company, to participate. You can be part of any organization. I hear the Rotary is going to come out with a team and uh, Glaze Christian Church, I've heard, and we're trying to, the police department, maybe the fire department, getting these folks involved. And uh, what it is, is this an obstacle well, You just course? scared off half the people who want to compete now. <laughs> well, it's just the fire department and the well, police department. But when you, listen to the, when you listen to the actual obstacles, it levels the playing field. Okay. Because uh, there's teams of four, okay. uh, and it's, uh, this year's only $100 to enter, so it's $25 per person. Um, and again, proceeds go to the <laughs> patient and family assistance fund. Um, teams of four, and they will compete in an array of obstacles that go from physical ones, like an actual obstacle course, to more like uh, minute to win it type games and which are hilarious to watch and we will be videotaping this year because <laughs> there were some really funny games out there that when you see some of the folks you know in the community doing these uh, activities it's really is priceless it is really fun to watch so we hope a lot of people will come out if you're not participating come out and watch because it, it'll be it'll be a lot of fun and we have kyle sowers who's going to be our mc and he's going to be doing the play-by-play -play, so it should be should be a lot of fun now, you have your number on here to yes. be contacted if they have questions. Uh, that's 859-986-6498. That's 986-6498. Also, at the website, I guess yes. you've got information about this? We do. At the website, we have uh, all the information for Get Healthy Berea, and you can actually register. There's a register now button that will take you to the site to, to register for any and all events. So. All right, and that's stjosephberea.org, right? It's dot .org, yeah, it is. Yeah, dot .org. And I'll try to get a link on Brown Line to that as well, so and we'll have it in our calendar. Um, once again, great having you on here. Uh, great to officially meet you. <laughs> you, too, you too. Same same school and, and right. same community, and right. never really caught up with each other before. I know it's funny. It's funny, but yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for having me on. It's a great service you provide, and I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully, we'll see a lot of people out there. All right. Once again, this is Chris Shield with St. Joseph Berea promoting Get Healthy Berea. This has been another edition of Brian Online Live. I'm your host, Chad Hembry. Join me for another edition. Mm -hmm.